One of the main problems in Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, was the high level of maternal mortality and the high level of infant mortality. If we don't improve maternal and child health and um, women's health in particular, we're not going to be able to reach the sustainable development goals globally, but we're also undermining a great asset from uh, in the countries. 99% of all maternal deaths occur in developing countries. What that highlights is that maternal deaths is not something that has to happen. It's about being able to make sure that the right services and supports are there for women who are delivering around the world. IMCHA as an initiative arose with support from the Canadian Institutes of Health Research, Global Affairs Canada, and the International Development Research Centre. I think the great thing about IMCHA really is the collaboration of these three Canadian agencies. Each has decades of experience in terms of bringing something specific to this initiative. And so coming together, I think the value proposition of each of these Canadian funders was clear, and the key was designing initiatives that built on each of their expertise. IMCHA was designed for impact. The idea was that there's a lot of interventions out there that are already known how to improve maternal and child health but that they're not able to be fully implemented and scaled successfully. What is at the core of this is ensuring that overseas development assistance is both effective and efficient, thus ensuring that money invested goes the farthest. While IMSHA's purpose was to make the evidence work to change the policies and practices within the countries. The initiative funded 28 research projects in 11 countries in Africa and two health policy and research organizations that we call HPROs. These 28 research projects, they are led by 19 research teams. They needed to be composed of three core team members. It has a principal investigator from Africa and a co-principal investigator from Canada and then a co-principal investigator who is a policymaker and still a policymaker from Africa. What impresses me the most about IMCHA is how this brings together African and Canadian experts to collaborate to find solutions to some of these tough problems. They are designing their research project according to country priorities, to their own challenges, and according to their own systems. Having an African PI um, it gives more ownership to the local ones. Mon rôle de dans ce projet était vraiment celui d'accompagner euh, mon partenaire euh, nigérian. Et l'idée vraiment c'est de cette mise en commun là, de voir comment euh, les expertises des uns peut compléter celles des autres. The piece of the design that is perhaps the most important or the most fundamental to achieving results is the inclusion of an African decision maker within each of the research projects. By having uh, policy makers in the team, the uptake and the use of evidence has increased. This ensures sustainability of the project even beyond the funding uh, period. Also in the design, having uh, what we call health policy and research organizations, so what we call HPROs, we have for East Africa and for West Africa. And the role of those organizations is facilitating the translation or the interpretation or the communication about the findings from the research projects to larger groups of decision makers at the regional level, shortening the distance between research and the uptake of the research. The HPRO, um, they have been uh, very instrumental to provide uh, various trainings and uh, it helped as an uh, individual project to meet other teams and learn from each other. The most important 
things about IMCHA is that it works both with local research teams and it works with regional, uh, regional organizations. The local research teams uh, provide innovations and solutions that are needed in a particular uh, locality. And bringing those uh, teams of researchers to, together allows a learning from experience elsewhere and allows a cost-effective way of introducing those innovations in other contexts. Notre plus grand accomplissement aujourd'hui, c'est que l'ensemble des 15 ministres de la Santé, à travers l'Assemblée des ministres de la Santé de la CPAO, ait accepté d'adopter la résolution que nous avons présentée pour que l'utilisation des évidences, les standards, les normes et les protocoles soient une réalité. Et c'est grâce à, au rôle d'OPRS que l'OAS a joué dans le cadre de l'initiative IMCHA. The success of this program resides in a couple of factors. First, there was enough resources to sustain a journey with many teams in many countries in Africa. The second level is with the health service themselves. They were part and privy to these programs. The research team were always integrated in some kind of health service depending on the context where they were operating. The third level is that the decision maker were part of the journey from the beginning. But that would have been nothing if these research team had not had, you know, the implementation inside and the community, which is fundamentally, you know, the most important thing of all of this. You can do all the capacity you want, but you need also to involve the people that you are targeting for improvement of their health and well-being. That's what, in a nutshell, the initiative has been doing over the years. I think there's fantastic examples in IMCHA of local solutions being adopted. They have made sure that the evidence that's being produced affects and changes public policy to ensure that women and their children are healthier. So at least 90% of our pregnant women deliver in the hospitals. So they've moved from delivering at home, they're coming to us. We trained about 10,044 community health workers, as well as more than 100 religious leaders, so that they will teach the community to improve their awareness and promote maternal and child deals. The Bajanuga has réussit à faire 10,000 visits à domicile, faire de telle sorte que les femmes en grossesse puissent aller suivre normalement leur grossesse, ce qui posait problème avant. It helped us to contribute in strengthening health system in our country to save the lives of vulnerable women and children. People now trust the facilities and the women now can deliver in the health facilities. We have seen a significant reduction of maternal death. L'impact le plus immédiat, c'est que depuis la mise en œuvre de ce projet-là, nous avons enregistré zéro décès maternel. En soi, c'est vraiment un succès incroyable. When three agencies combine their different abilities, their different skills, their different contexts and expertise, what it shows is that we can actually make a real difference in the world. And we're seeing it with MCHA.